Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my corner of the internet. My name is Jason and today we're back with some more Elder Scrolls 2 Daggerfall. Uh, last time we uh, we finished going through Orsinium, we found the letter and we're going to be going back to Daggerfall, uh, not the game, the actual city. Uh, and we're going to be bringing this letter to, uh, I believe, Minisera? Yes. So we're going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and find Daggerfall because there's a lot of locations on this map and I'm not going to go ahead and put my cursor over each one of them, even though I have an idea where it's at. We're going to look for Dagger and that will lead us straight to Daggerfall. We're going to go ahead and, uh, hmm, travel time, 15 by ship. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds decent. And here we find ourselves in Daggerfall. You are entering Daggerfall. All right, so last time we got that letter and we're currently working on the main quest here. Um, uh, at least I, I'm pretty sure we are. We've uh, gone ahead and we've, I'm trying to remember here. <laughs> what do we do? We, we, got, we got the letter and it said something about a, t uh, a totem. Uh, the totem of Tiber Septim, and uh, I guess this has some sort of strange plot because it also tied into Lord Woodborne and all these other kind of weird little things. So, you know, once again, we're we are getting, uh, we'll say, uh, enveloped, or we're getting sort of uh, drawn into the um, the po politics uh, in Daggerfall. Now, I was going to go straight off to the castle, but I I think I'm going to make a small detour first. Uh, because, uh, like I, uh, I mentioned in the last episode, you know, our when, when it comes to our, uh, I will say, advancement in the game, our leveling up, uh, you know, we can't really get some better armor because of our t our class, right? We're playing a Nightblade. Uh, it was more of a, a thieving class, and we have those limitations on us uh, that, you know, we just cannot use, um, you know, heavier armor and stuff like that. So what am I gonna do for my survivability you know how do I handle that well what I'm good what I've been doing and what I'm I'm going to try to keep doing is uh, stopping by the thieves guild uh, whenever I can and uh, getting the trainer to go ahead and train me in dodging that way there uh, I'll be able to use my agility my 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 manual dexterity my my hand-eye coordination my which is by you know just my natural ability to be awesome to avoid getting you know stabbed in the face uh, because, you know, Alexa, she doesn't need armor. She doesn't need, you know, these magical items and stuff to survive. No, no, she is just powerful enough on her own that she's just going to be like, you know what? No, I'm going to just survive by my own skills through my my own ability. And that's 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 what we're doing. Yes. Um, good going, Hotshot. We think you're ready to be a full-fledged robber in the Thieves' Guild. From now on, if you want to know the no newest scoop, talk to our spy master. Nice! That, that, was, that was a little bit too enthusiastic. I'm sorry. We got ears all over the place, and now that you're a robber, so do you. Nice! And I want some training. Yeah, I'll take some training in dodging. So we've gone ahead and practiced for about three hours, and it looks like it's a little bit lighter in here, which tells me... Uh, that uh, it is a uh, 7:20 in the morning. So awesome! We can actually use the spy master now. Uh, I think, maybe. Are you the spy master? I am the spy master. I know everything that happens on the Iliac Bay. Others might give you rumors, but my rumors are always true. Nice. So does that mean I can go ahead and uh, talk to him? Like, where is? So if I, if I need any information, okay. So if I need information, like I, I, I need to track down some guy, I'm like, I don't know where this guy is. I come to him and I'm like, hey, yo, spy master guy, tell me where he is. And he'll be like, sure, I'll put him right on your map. So I've got my own sort of uh, intelligence agency. Agency? Intelligence. You know, intelligence agents, whatever. I've got my own spies around, you know, hence, the, you know, the term spy master. Which is awesome, because that's cool. We, we now have the Spy Master. So I'm kind of hoping that this next little quest will um, give me the opportunity to go ahead and, we'll say, flex my, my robber muscles. As puny and small as they may be, but efficient. I'll see you at Castle Daggerfall when we, uh, right before we go ahead and talk to Minisera about the letter. All right, we once again find ourselves in Castle Daggerfall, and we're going to go ahead and break into the side room because, um... I don't know, that's that's what we do. We're like, hey! And she's like, you're not supposed to be here, but let's talk. Alexis, this letter is dangerous. Gortwog had undoubtedly sold copies of it to everyone from Wayrest to the Underking. 
After all, if the powers of the Iliac Bay become embroiled in war over the totem, he stands to gain quite a lot. Hmm. Go now. You have done your job. I am sure the totem will find its way into your life somehow. You seem to have a knack for such things. Just remember, the only safe master of the totem is the Emperor. Oh. Well, that's just great. So you basically you just said, all right. You were doing your main quest, but now we're going to give you a reason to go ahead and do some other things. And then while you're doing those other things, we're going to give you a time sensitive uh, quest so that you can jump back onto the main quest. Thanks, lady. I really appreciate the way you've designed things. Um, yes, this is a potentially awkward situation I'm in. Not the worst, but awkward indeed. I'm in possession of a certain item that is not, to be blunt, legally mine. Oh, gotcha. If you would carry it, uh, a contact of mine in Syncroft, if you would carry it... Maybe to a contact? I think that's what she's probably trying to say. In Syncroft, you will be handsomely re rewarded. Does 602 gold pieces sound fair to you? No. No, it doesn't. I'm sorry. Goodbye. You have been me in my hour of need, young Dark Elf. <gasps> I am sorely displeased. Oh, I bet you are. I don't really care. All right, we got to get out of here before the guards try to kill us. They're like, halt, halt. Uh, do I want to access my wagon and stay in Daggerfall? No, I want to leave. All right. So, I guess we've kind of got to wait uh, on uh, the main quest to once again occur. I think this is probably what I was waiting for. I'm, when I was trying to look at the guides and I was like, oh, I just need to wait for the next part of the main quest to start. I think I had uh, misread things because I, I try to read these guides without spoiling anything for myself, right? So I'm like, all right, let's go ahead and read this and uh, yeah, this looks about right. And then I'll go ahead and, you know, try to use that information. But... Uh, you know, I think I just need to, uh, spoil the entire game for myself at this point. Well, you know what? I think I'm near the end of the game, so I'm going to, hmm, maybe I'll look up one last thing just to make sure that I'm, I'm truly, I truly need to wait, uh, this time. Uh, and if, if so, then, then I will just wait and I will play the rest of the game as much as possible, uh, blind. Because that's, that's how I like to do it. I like to... Uh, to experience things as freshly as possible. The lock has nothing to fear for you, from you. What time is it? 7.55. What time do you guys open at? 8 o'clock. So I've got to wait five whole freaking minutes. You know what I'm going to do? I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to jump over to my ship, and I'm going to rest for about an hour. Uh, no, let's make it two hours. That way out there, I'll get my a little bit of stamina back and my spell points back up. Uh, rather than just sort of loitering, loitering around town, uh, and not really getting any sort of uh, increase, uh, that will be, you know, this this will be a, a much better way of doing things. So we're back here at the bank. Uh, this episode here, I think we're probably going to be doing a little bit of, uh, we'll say, housekeeping stuff. You know, be like, uh, hey, guy, I've got some gold. I would like to deposit into my bank account. So let's see what, uh, 19,000 sounds about good. Yeah, it sounds about good. Let's go to banking. Let's go ahead and uh, choose a deposit into my account. 19,000 gold pieces, which gives me... A grand total of, what, 80,000? And then, holy crap, a whole lot of letter of credit in my inventory. Do I need all these letters of credit? <laughs> I'm like, huh. Uh, I might understand that you would like to deposit all of your letters of credit. No, no, actually, we'll keep that for the time being. I like having a, an inordinate amount of money uh, sitting in there. Now, what confuses me here is it shows right here in my inventory, I've got 150,607. And when we look uh, on our uh, inventory here, uh, yeah, we, we do see that exact same number. Uh, however, when we go ahead and we go to the travel menu, uh, those numbers do not show up. So it, it makes me worry. I'm like, if if uh, do, are, do travel costs need to be specifically in gold, or can I use a letter of credit for them? I don't know. Uh, that's a little bit, we'll say, on the worrying side. That's why, that's why I'd like to carry some cash with me, just in case, because I'm not sure. Um, all right, so let's take a look at our weapons here. New, 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 almost new, new, new. Basically, everything I'm, I'm holding in my hands are new. Uh, and uh, basically, all the magical items I have on me are identified. Do I really need to identify the other crap? <laughs> I'm like, I really don't want to go back to the Mage's Guild and have to identify all this stuff. Uh, yeah, I suppose I should. Although my reputation with them might be, um, I haven't done work for them in a little while. So I hope I can, that they'll still let me identify things. Hmm. All right, we're going to go ahead to the Mages Guild. And uh, hopefully they will go ahead and identify some things for us. Because, you know, we, we've gotten quite a few uh, new, we'll say, little magical items um, over the course of our last couple of little adventures. Uh, and I'd like to see uh, what these, these things are. 
Uh, this here is a temple if I am, if I recall correctly, right? Yeah, this is the temple of Kinnereth. That's right, Kinnereth, not the temple of whatever I'm part of. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you, game, for telling me. See, the game is my friend. I'm like, hey, I need information. Game, can you tell me you know, what, what faction I'm uh, a part of? And it's like, it's RK, you idiot. RK, A-R-K-A-Y. Uh, I, I keep getting mixed up with Kinnereth. If you're joining us a little bit later, when I first started uh, this playthrough, uh, or earlier in the playthrough, rather, well, it was near the beginning, I think. Anyways, I joined up with the Temple of Kinnereth, and uh, I res I discovered that it, was, it wasn't going to be a good fit for me, you know? We, we, we had the interview, I talked to them, they're like, all right, this is, uh, these will be your duties, and this is all that, and it just didn't sound right for me, so we, you know, we, we had a bit of a parting of ways, um, and I went ahead and I joined, uh, RK, you know, it was, it was a religion I could get behind, you know, we, we got, like, free waffles on Tuesdays, stuff like that, it was great, um, so anyways, that, that's, that's, that, that's, we'll say that whole story, which is not really much of a story, it's more of just, yeah, it's something that happened. All right, we're gonna go ahead and rest here for uh, the one hour. We're gonna ju jump back over in front of the Mage's Guild. The doors should be open. I really hope that they will let me identify stuff. Uh, now, I probably need to access my wagon and get stuff out now. Uh, wagon, there we go. Give me a second, I'm just gonna drop this stuff in my inventory and then we'll go ahead on inside and uh, identify it um, in a second. All right, here's our identify guy, and it looks like he's going to uh, identify stuff for us. So, we've got quite a few items that I, uh, oh, sweet. I think they kept them all in order. Yes, it did. Awesome, so we can go ahead and just start dropping all of these in the identify slot. Uh, yep. Power's unknown, power's unknown, power's unknown. Boom, 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 and I'm pretty sure that's it. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and identify all of these items and then see what we get. So, identify. That'll be 811 gold pieces you've bartered down to that. Is that really it? That's all it's gonna cost me? Sweet! Alright, let's see what kind of items we've got. We've got Sandals of Nimbleness. When held. Oh, wait, wait. So when held, does that mean when they're equipped or just when I have them on me? It casts Nimbleness on me. So that's, that's kind of like, uh, I guess if it's in my inventory? If that's in my inventory, I get to, like, have Nimbleness. That might be a good thing to keep. Uh, Tower Shield of Water Walking. So that allows me to walk on water. I don't really think I want to keep the shield. One, I can't use it. It's huge. It's really heavy. And I've got other things that allow, allow me to do that. Oh, and, and then we've got a, a steel longbow of water walking. All right, we'll, we'll want to get rid of that as well. Uh, unrestrainable turquoise, which gives me free action. However, I believe it is... Yeah, this dagger here. That also gives me free action, so we don't need to be hanging on to this. Um, then again, 0.5 kilograms, 0.25. That's a little bit lighter. I could uh, switch over to that. Lightning gauntlets, which sounds really cool. Silence, nimbleness again. Now this is uh, when used, sorry. So when held, so when I'm holding this, I get nimbleness. And another free action. All right, so basically it's nothing really great. Um, you know, we, we've, we don't really have anything nice that we've added to our, our arsenal necessarily. It's just more of the same. We already have a ton of these uh, kinds of uh, things in our wagon, so uh, let's just go ahead and drop the, some of those back off in uh, into our wagon, and yeah. Uh, although I might hang on to this here, the um, unrestrained, uh, unrestrainable turquoise. We'll keep this one here, uh, but the rest we're gonna throw into our our bin. Um, now the sandals, I'm kind of curious. When held. Okay, so I'm ho I got them in my bag, but I don't have the nimbleness, so I'm assuming I need to actually equip these. And I'm not sure if uh, that's really worth it, because I get, you know, a plus one armor- Oh, it's only a plus one armor rating. I'm wondering if having nimbleness would be better. What are my stats at? <laughs> oh, look, they're through the roof. Hmm. What if we equip those? There we go. And that puts our agility at, once again, still 100. Okay, never mind. It I don't really think it's worth it, but- I guess it's kind of cool. Sure. I don't know. It looks a little wonky here. We got to, we're wearing these weird sandals, and we've got like armor up on top. I don't know. I, I wish there was maybe something else I could do. Um, maybe if there was some clothing, like enchanted clothing, like like oh, this is enchanted clothing here. I know, but I'm wondering, like you know, if there was like an enchanted headgear or something else that I, I could be wearing that would 
Um, make her look not so ridiculous. That would be kind of cool. Yeah, we'll, we'll use the nimbleness until it, the effect wears off, and then we'll go ahead and put our, uh, our regular boots back on. Uh, because sure, why not? Or, you know what? Actually, let's, let's save those for uh, dungeons. There we go. So, we'll save the, the nimbleness for dungeons. Alright, so we've gone ahead and we've, uh, done our, uh, we'll say our sort of busy work in town. Uh, now I'm kind of thinking, you know, maybe it would be a, a fun idea to go ahead and, uh, maybe do, I don't know, maybe do a Mage's Guild quest. I just don't want to do another dungeon quest. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at them to make spells, uh, we haven't been to this screen in a little while, so I'm kind of wondering here, can we create something, uh, interesting, and anything, uh, we'll say neat. Um, let's see, it's maybe something, you know, that we've noticed that we're having a problem with. Maybe we can come up with a spell for it. I don't know. I'm just going to take a look at, uh, we'll say, the, the spell maker here and try to find something, uh, maybe something new to play around with. All right, I, oh, man, I was going to try to make an enhanced version of Steve, but I'm looking at here the chance, uh, you know, and, and, and the cost. It's really not that great. I, I don't want to be able to just cast once. I, like, I'm able to bash down doors with better, we'll say, a better chance than what it would cost me to drain almost my entire spell point pool. So, uh, we're, we're gonna have to put off making, we'll say, uh, Steve 2.0 because, uh, it's just not worth it. Alright, I just saw the climbing spell. I, I, nothing else really jumped out at me, like, everything else we've kind of been trying to build up, but, uh, nothing was, uh, I, I didn't see anything that was like, yeah, let's do that! Um, but climbing, it allows you to climb twice as well as you normally could. So I decided to, we're gonna go ahead and create suction cups, and that will allow us to climb up walls a lot better, and I, I like, wait, go, go, no, go up icon. No, up, uh, darn it, I, I had a cool icon, I wanted to, ah, uh, whatever. Uh, you look like a flaming suction cup, sure. There we go, suction cup! There we go, we, we will go ahead and buy the climbing spell. So now we can go ahead and suction cup our way up things. Alright, and I felt like playing around with, uh, charm a little bit here. So, uh, let's see... I can, uh, do by touch or a target at range. Or area around caster. That'd be kinda cool. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and maybe use, um, by touch? Uh, but... My thinking is, if someone's tr trying to kill me, if I can use charm at range, maybe it'll they'll stop attacking, and then we can just sort of talk. So it's like a, it's a it's a disarming spell in a way. Yes, we, we will use a target at range. It's going to cost a, t a forty, which is quite a bit more. Uh, but we're going to use this. We're going to call this one wit. We're going to go ahead and uh, create uh, the the wit spell, uh, which can be used at range, and then uh, maybe we'll we'll try it one more time. Uh, we're gonna keep base stats as well, but we're gonna do this one by ch uh, by um, by touch, and we'll, we'll call this one maybe whispered wit. Sure, because I'm, I'm whispering in their ear. I'm like, I'm so witty. Uh, that just sounds creepy, but maybe maybe they'll be so f uh, just gripped by fear that they will just okay. We won't we, we won't do anything. Go ahead and buy that one. There we go. We have a couple of little spells just just to play around with a little bit, uh, but now I think it is time to uh, maybe grab a quest or something. Hey, guy. Uh, wait first, let's save our game. <laughs> We've been playing for a little bit, we haven't saved for a little while, so... Um... Talk, who is... Are you the quest giver? I think you're the quest giver. You're not. You must be the quest giver. Get quest. The Maidus Guild is in need of summoning to guard the magical jade tonight. It is feasible that you could do it for us? There's a ruby in it for you. Oh, awesome, sure, I'll do that. Be at the Maidus Guild by midnight. Your period of guard guardianship will last until 3 in the morning. Cool! So what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave, uh, the, we'll say the Mage's Guild. We'll show up here at 12 tonight, and we will guard it. Sweet! Nice, quick, easy quest, uh, just to sort of kill some time. So we're gonna go ahead and jump off to the ship. We will rest for a grand total of, let me see, well, it's basically noon. Uh, we wanna basically kill, not quite 12 hours, so... Uh, we'll say 11 hours is probably good, that'll bring us right to where we wanna be. And then we can go into the... Actually, we'll, we'll end it a little bit earlier. Just because, uh... Ooh. Can I go into the Mages Guild a little earlier? I can't, I can't remember how these quests work. Let me see. Let's look at the time. Uh, we're still like two hours early. Let's just loiter for a... Uh, uh, let's just loiter for a second. Uh, you know, like two hours. Just hang around. Da -da 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 -da. All right. Now the time is right before midnight. Can I go in? All right, I'm in here. And the clock is ticking. 
Maybe I should turn invisible. Alright, so we have three minutes to wait. I want to see if uh, they will actually show up while I'm in here. There's the guy! Hey guy! Oh, he's, he's gonna shoot an arrow at me! It's time to use my cutting wit. Ow! Ow! Stop it! I'm trying to shoot my wit at you! Ow! My face! <laughs> I get the impression that this is not working as well as I had hoped. Alright. Uh, let's try it one more time. Wit! Okay, it didn't work. Looky here, boys. A guard. Gee, I'm all scared and shaking alike. Let's leave the tongue on the door as a warning not to mess with the Thieves' Guild. Get him! Wait a second! I'm a member of the Thieves' Guild! Ah, I will have you expelled from the Thieves' Guild! With my stagger! My- wait, there's four of them. Oh, okay. Uh, so we just- I just slaughtered uh, several members of the, Thie of the Thieves' Guild. Will this hurt my reputation? <laughs> is this gonna- uh, is this gonna mess with my chances of advancement? There we go, let's grab some more gold pieces. Because this is where the real reward is. It's not in, um... It's not in what I'm gonna be getting from the, uh, from completing the quest. It's... Definitely not. Uh, the, the, the quest rewards tend to be pretty garbage. Okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and, uh, heal up a little bit more. Uh, it looks, uh, to me like our wit spell was, um, completely ineffective. But, that's uh, okay. Uh, now, where's the jade? Because I remember last time I had a quest for the, the Mages Guild to guard something of theirs. I, uh... Oh, it doesn't unlock. Is it beyond this door? <laughs> like, well, now that I know that the Thieves Guild is involved, let's go ahead and take a look. I'm not going to get myself expelled, though, hopefully. Hopefully bit breaking down the door doesn't count as uh, getting me uh, expelled. Uh, I just kind of want to see the jade. I just want to see what I'm guarding, guys. What am I... Where, where's the thing that I'm guarding? I want to see the jade thing. Oh, I guess I didn't need to break that down that door after all. Just don't take the jade. Just don't take it. And everything will be fine. Um... Like, I don't even know where it is. Where, where's the thing I'm trying to guard? I love that some- I love how some of the doors are locked. Uh, that- See, normally, you know, the Mages Guild is locked, you know, uh, at night. But they left the door unlocked so I could get in to do my job. Uh, and I love that, you know, certain rooms have a, a lock on them now, you know, certain NPCs are not, no longer here. And that's cool, I like that. Uh, it adds that, we'll say, sort of dynamic element, uh, to the game that makes it, makes things feel a little bit more alive. Uh, I don't know where the jade is. Uh, I'm like, where's the thing I'm supposed to be- <laughs> I'm ransacking the place trying to find out what I'm supposed to be guarding. Uh, I just really hope I didn't pick it up by, by accident. I'm pretty sure I didn't, but that would be- that would be kind of, um, humorous. I would- I would laugh. I'd be like, oh, wow, uh, I screwed things up real bad. Hey, uh, what about you, guy? Can I talk to you? No. No, not yet. All right, I, I need to... There's nothing here. There's no jade here. Was this, was this like a fake job? Were you just trying to see if I was trustworthy? Is that what this is? If so, man, that's low. That's, that's really low. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm done at three, so I can't... Uh, I can maybe loiter for like two hours. Just hang around here. I'm not resting, so you can't arrest me. Uh, I guess we'll rest- we'll loiter for one more hour and then we'll try to cash in the quest. Hey, I'm done my job. Well done, Alexis. Those thieves didn't stand a chance against you. Here, take this ruby. It's really the least we can do. I'm bet it is. That's yeah, not really worth a whole lot, but we'll take it anyways. All right, you know what? We're done, and I think we're gonna have to end things here for today. Uh, we did one little little quest. Uh, the reason why I wanted to do a Mage's Guild quest was because I wanted to at least maintain my relationship with them. Um, because you know, it's been a while. I've done a lot of traveling within ga uh, within game time, and I don't want my, my reputation to, to fall too much with them. So uh, I was kind of like, eh, let's go back and boost it up. Uh, you know. Eventually, we'll get that that letter, or someone will contact us, and we will be able to go ahead and you know, hit that home stretch to finish the main quest. But uh, until that time, we'll keep uh, we'll just keep doing what we're doing. Uh, if you like the video, you like the content, and you would like to see more of it, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, leave it a thumbs down. Either way, let me know what you thought in the comment section. And until next time, I would like to ask you all to game on.